And they'll run for the first time with Najee Harris. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. A look at the numbers for Harris in last week's game. 25 carries, 124 yards. How about the first month of the season for him? He leads the league in rushing, so you know his confidence is at an all-time high, which means his offensive line loves it, too. They'll get more opportunities to run block for him. And this is going to be a Steelers first down as the tackle made at about the 43-yard line. They'll look to throw here on first down. It's caught here by Adams. Well, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice game there. This one goes for 20. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route, and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps, and cuts towards the middle of the field, and now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and get the quarterback a really nice target. Takes this to the 32, maybe the 31, and then the defense rallying quickly after that broken tackle. Defensively here, you're facing a top five team in terms of points scored in the NFL. So when they're that high power, you gotta find a way to hold them under 20. Because to me, that's the magic number. 20 points scored gives yourself your best you give yourself your best chance to win. So if they're up around 24, 28, 30, they could be in some trouble. Yeah, I think so, because then you turn it into a shootout, and that means your offense has to keep pace. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. They'll get this halfway home from the eight to the four on a gain of four. And Charles, despite this list of key inactives that we see here, they've obviously still been pretty successful. Give everyone credit for this one, because to me, when that happens, key guys are out, the next man steps up and plays well, but that starts with the organization itself, all the way through. No excuses for guys being out, finding guys who are capable backups who can step up and play when they need them, and we've seen the results of that. This team knows how to work through things. And he's in! Touchdown, Steelers! Najee Harris, his sixth touchdown of the season, and the Steelers have taken a first quarter lead. Uh, first quarter, maybe too early to talk about statement drives, Charles, but that sure seemed like a statement drive right there. Start the drive. Quick slant, finding Claypool. It's so close, he gets it to the one. Out of bounds right there. An excellent pickup of 20 yards. And remember, this drive started off following the turnover. And they've taken no time working their way down the short field. A nice connection there, and now they're looking at a first and goal. They'll try to run with Harris. Pushing and fighting his way in for a Steeler touchdown. Najee Harris with his second touchdown in this opening quarter. And the Steelers are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. So two drives, two touchdowns here in this first quarter, and he's got both of them. But he's certainly setting himself up for a big game here. And I think if the play call doesn't get in his own... They'll try and start this drive in the air, eluding the pressure right, and powering through at the 35. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. And a nice job there on the escape and scramble. A first down, a 16-yard gain. Partner, as a quarterback, sometimes you just got to know when the clock has gone off in your head, it's time to go. Tuck it and get all you can. Now a pass that's taken in by Smith-Schuster. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. Four yards the pick up, first down. This is Harris. Some extra space following the display of power. 
down just inside the 45. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. He'll look to throw. Open man, that's the tight end fire move. His first catch, good for nine and a first down. Back to throw here. Here's Fryermuth again. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. Second and four. And that is caught. What a catch at the three-yard line. A really nice gain of 25 yards. As the field starts to get condensed, the defense likes that a lot because now you don't have as much space to cover, but a well-run corner route there. They scored touchdowns on drives one and two, and now they're trying to make it a perfect three for three to start. Harris, and he's going to take it in for a Steeler touchdown. Najee Harris on his way to a monster game. Three first-half touchdowns. And the Steelers, they broaden their lead. So what a first half that he has had running the football. That now three touchdown runs. And I would end. They'll look to throw now on first down. Flush to his right. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. He'll get 10 there all on his own, but it'll be second down. Well, he did a nice job keeping his eyes downfield, waiting for someone to get open. But once the pressure forced his eyes down to see the rush, it was time to make a break for it. And that is incomplete. Nearly intercepted. The free safety couldn't quite get his hands around it, and it brings up third down. An incomplete pass on second down leads us to third and inches. Escaping the pressure right. And incomplete on the deep ball. On first down, he'll drop to throw. Going top shelf for Smith-Schuster. They've got his man complete. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. The big play has him all the way out near midfield for a first and 10. Back to throw. He'll buy some time right. And that would off the mark behind him, incomplete. Well, the incompletion, yes, but maybe here not the worst thing in the world? No, not on first and 10. Actually gives him a chance to regroup, relax just a little bit. They huddle up, talk it over. Then they get a chance to continue their drive. And second and 10, he'll look to throw again. Completion here to Claypool. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. So that one will be accepted. So the yellow flag came out, and that leads to a new set of downs for this offense, first and 10. Now back to throw. Forced out to his left. Oh, he gets free left side. And he'll head out of bounds inside the 10. Mark it down at the 9. The escapability in evidence there is that one good for 15 and a first. A chance to really cap off a big first half here as they come up on first and goal. That is caught. It's Juju for the Steeler touchdown. Juju Smith-Schuster, his second touchdown on the season. And the Steelers are going to add on to their lead. If you didn't know it, it won't surprise you to find out that this team leads the league in scoring. They've been a quick strike team all season long. There's another example. They did it again. This offensive coordinator, right now, you can write his team. Back to throw now on first down. Hit as 
as he throws there incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. And a pretty good run, all things considered. Probably would have liked that in the first quarter instead of right now as the clock continues to run. So we reach halftime. All right, folks, eager to get back. They'll set up a throw. And that almost their first INT of the ball game. Had his sights on it, but he couldn't seal the deal. On third down, he'll drop to throw. Dance into his left. And he'll get to the 29-yard line brought down there. He opted to go with his scramble. First down, he'll drop to throw it. Flushed out right. That's complete to his tight end, Fryer move. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. 33 yards that time. Frankly, I don't know that this defense knows what to do anymore. Just look at their body language out there. The passing game has absolutely been relentless throughout. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. So a decent gain, but all for naught on the penalty. It's too bad, isn't it? They were feeling pretty good about it. The only people celebrating, the guys who just gave up that play. A throw over the middle, taken in. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. 23 yards, the final tally. That's another beautiful throw right there. Gets it to his man right in stride. And I think that throw kind of exemplifies what we've seen from this offense throughout this game. They've been in rhythm. They've been sharp. They've been on it. And he picked up another first down there. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. 62 yards for him on the ground now and three touchdowns to go along with it. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Steps away to his left. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up a first down. Well, he's proven real effective running the football. No one open, don't force it. Just get what you can, and that's what he's done very well in this game. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he's in. Touchdown, Steelers. Najee Harris. A five-yard touchdown run. And the Steelers find a way to stretch their lead. So it was the passing. <laughs> On first down, it's Harris. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. And now timeout is whistled as it appears there's a Brown shaken up on the play. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. While the training staff works on him, we'll step aside and be right back. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 12 yards that time at a Pittsburgh first. He's turning in a pretty impressive performance running the football and a big reason why they have this nice lead. And in days gone by, we would clip this out and put it up on the refrigerator, wouldn't we? Clip out the box score. Nowadays, not too many newspapers out there. Maybe you screenshot it online. So both teams trade touchdowns in the third as we're through three quarters of play. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. On play action, they'll throw. Eluding the pressure right. And he will slide to a stop 
He does have the first down. Give him seven on the tuck and run, and it'll get him a new set of downs. So here's a first and ten at the 38. On the give, this is Harris. Takes this to the 32, maybe the 31, and then the defense rallying quickly after that broken tackle. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. They'll look to throw here. Buying time to his left. And he is caught by Smith-Schuster. And finally, down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. Now, after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. Well, he gets attended to. We'll step aside. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he's going to take it in for a Steeler touchdown. Najee Harris taking it in from seven yards away. And the Steelers are about to make it four straight as they add to this fourth quarter advantage. And this is the kind of day a running back dreams of. They keep handing him the ball, and he keeps taking it in for touchdown. to pick up about four at second down. Charles, you said earlier this defense is probably going to need to hold these guys right around 20 or under that if they were going to have a chance. It was evident pretty early on that wasn't going to happen. Yeah, they left 20 behind a long time ago in this game, didn't they? It looks like they're headed towards a big, big number. But 20 was the threshold because that kept them in the ball game and kept the pressure off of their own offense. 117 yards rushing for him so far and a boatload of touchdown runs as well. On first down, Harris. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. Frustrating for a defense, energizing for an offense. Finding a way to create that type of yardage in your running game, that'll make the guys carrying the ball very, very happy. Being chased out left. Open man completes it to Smith-Schuster. And he'll take this into the end zone. Now, hold on here. We do have a flag down. So let's see what this is about. So retract the yardage and retract the touchdown. And retract the chunk play. Big strike there to get the touchdown. Now they've got to take it back and see if they've got another one still in their arsenal. Forced out to his left. And he's able to pick up the first down here before he goes down at the 26. There's a throw over the middle. It's taken in by his tight end. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Pittsburgh getting 16 yards there and also a first down. He'll drop to throw. And oh, that nearly their first pick of the game, but it falls down to the ground incomplete. Here's second and ten. Rolling to his left, and hitting Juju on the slant, and in for the Steelers touchdown. Juju Smith-Schuster, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Steelers are going to be moving to 4-0 as they extend their lead. Well, where our booth is here, we can see all of the riders to our left. And They'll run on first down. Harris. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Coming up on the final two and a half minutes. And boy, has it been fun to watch this offense operate. Quite the display, and now they look to polish it off. And he's going to take this down close to a first down at the Browns' 26. And now timeout is whistled as it appears there's a Brown shaken up on the play. While the training staff takes a peek, we'll take a break. And for the moment, this will be a first down. 
But we have a marker on the field. Let's see if this stands. That hold coming from the middle of the line, the center. And it's difficult for him because sometimes you've got people right over you, and as soon as you snap it, trying to get your hands up and block them, you can be a little bit late getting it done. He'll find Smith-Schuster. That's complete. And he's going to get this to the... down Harris safety Grant Delpit up to make the play well, Charles it's one thing to win it's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did why were they clicking on offense they can't help but feel great about themselves can they I mean what a game to put up that number of points continually feel like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking they think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, 